Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to another Shrine Guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. This one is going to be the Jukum Shrine, built for rails. And I feel like this one doesn't even have a chest. It just automatically gives you the chest icon to the right of the shrine name to let you know that you have all the chests, although there is none for this particular one. Very weird. Uh, this one's also very weird in general. The idea is basically just uh, traversing the rails with your handmade stuff. It's kind of confusing, so we'll show you how to do it. Uh, also, it is located here, the Jukum Shrine, built for rails, uh, a bit southeast of central Hyrule. So we're going to start by linking these two together and simply placing them not under. I guess you could, no, you could not place them under because they'll fall through. You're going to place them on the slant here and then jump on. Okay. Uh, if that happens, you can use recall, obviously, um, to recall them and back. And then jump on here and then hit L to stop and have them go the direction that you would like them to. And this one isn't so difficult. Yeah, because I don't remember getting a chest for this one. And as you can see, there is a chest icon to the right of the uh, shrine name, which means I must have done everything you can do and I did look and I was like I don't see anything anywhere uh, for this next one we are going to create oh that's right there is a chest I'm silly I think I checked that one and I thought that maybe there wasn't uh, I am silly there is a chest yes okay so we're gonna create a slope here by combining these and then this and then simply taking this and rotating it like such and we don't want it to be like that, though. What are you doing, man? You are drunk. What in the world are you doing? Okay. It, yeah, it is not wanting to comply just yet. Okay, we want to make a slope like that. And then uh, move it up a little bit and go like that. And then we can run and jump and grab the chest like so. I don't know why my brain was like, there's no chest here. There's just no chest. Uh, then we're going to take this. That should be the only chest in this one. So you can check and see if you have the... Um, check and see if you have the chest icon after that. Then we are going to create a bit of a box. Like so. A uh, bit of a box with no bottom. Like so. It's a bit misleading because you would think that they want you to use the... Uh, part that's already on the rails. But actually that will make you fall. Uh, there's probably multiple ways to do this, but I found this way to be the best personally. So we're going to put it like that and then jump on. And this should work. Hopefully, if it doesn't, we might be able to run over to the left side. And looks like it's going to stay. Very nice. And there we are. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to jump off of this one and actually take this with us up here. Now, this is the really challenging one. This is the one that has a lot of weird moving parts to it. So we are going to place that here and go find a part for the bottom. Uh, let's see, because I did this kind of bizarrely. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't do this really in the way that I think that they want you to do this. So what you want to do is you want to put this on the track in the middle and then ascend up to it. But to do that, it's going to be tricky because it's going to, like, kind of block us from being able to do that. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to go like this. And I'm wondering if we should put the fans on now or after. Um, we can probably get away with doing it like this. So let's try to bring it up through the rails here. And then what we want to do is put it on the other. Unfortunately, it's just out of range. Hmm... Okay, so maybe if we go like this and then somehow get it on. I did not let that go. My Switch controller has been doing so much weird stuff lately. I did not let that go, I swear. All right, let's get this up and over. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we can do it like that. It's very finicky. But then it's going to slide off here. But as long as it stays on, we should be able to do this. Stay on, buddy. There we go. Okay, so we are going to run and grab one of these singular platforms over here. Yeah, this one's really bizarre. I'm not entirely sure what the intended way is for this one. Uh, also, we will probably be able to attach these fans, and we do want all three. So let's bring this over here. 
And then attach this one like so. Attach this one like so. And attach this one like so. Just like that. And now as long as we can attach this to the bottom, we should be good. So let's see if this will work. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, this one's super duper duper weird. I would love to see, like, other people's solutions for this one. Okay, so can we get this on like that? We want both lines to be here, ideally. Okay, that is super unfortunate. Okay, and we are off. Yeah, this one's a little bit tricky to explain just because there's so much weird stuff happening. But basically, I took the box and I slid it up and over and onto it. And then I readjusted the fans because the fans were kind of colliding. Again, I am not sure what the intended way is for this one. This one seems really, really, really bizarre. But you can also walk the rails. That's the first way that I did it. I just simply walk the rails. Hopefully, we don't get stuck here. Beautiful. And so this way obviously works if you want to build a contraption like this. But there's probably far more efficient contraptions, which if there are, please let me know about in the comment section below. I would love to know about them. But there we go, folks. That's the shrine. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video slash found it helpful, consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribe. And we, see, we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.